All right, so this is a very overdue video. Um, yeah, this is basically a 65 millimeter toothpick uh, based off of the pickle frame from Thingiverse, and also this pod is also on Thingiverse. I'll link those down below. But uh, the I guess the trend in toothpicks these days is going uh, up to three inch now. So this is kind of outdated. But I had a really hard time getting this tuned on 4.0. Just would not fly right on 4.0 and I did a lot of tweaking and stuff to this um, which is why you haven't seen this video but uh, now the 4.1 is out I went ahead and put 4.1 on here and now it flies somewhat normally on the default PIDs. I think I could probably raise the PIDs a little bit actually it does seem like it's a little bit loose but uh, finally got this video done and um, yeah uh, nothing too special about this one there's a lot of these type of builds out there we have the uh, Amex um, 1103 7500 kV motors on here. A lot of toothpick builds are based on this motor. Got the HQ 65mm uh, T prop. I'm using the Nameless RC all in one board. This is actually the version 1 with the USB port coming out of the bottom. And let's see, the video transmitter here is the EUC Nano video transmitter. I've had that one for a little while now as well. That one actually goes up to 400 milliwatts, but I wouldn't recommend using this pod and that video transmitter in there. It's going to be too hot. I'm just running it on 25 milliwatts. And I'm running the Rencam Nano 2 the, with the 1.8 millimeter lens on this one. It's a pretty wide field of view. And also this, this little TPU part down the bottom that holds the battery is my own custom part. If uh, you're interested in getting that, let me know. It's just basically, it's a twist on... I think that when you, get, when you go to the link to the frame, uh, it'll have a part that's a little bit different. Um, I just printed it flat, so I just altered the, the design so it would print flat, so it just sits down like that. And then you just pull up like this, and the battery, just slide the battery in, and on the battery I'm using is a 2S GMB 520. Runs pretty good on that. And here's the weight of my build, 47 grams. So yeah, um, with the battery together, coming in at 76.7 grams. So um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, uh, the 65 millimeter, 65 millimeter builds out there already, but I just wanted to go ahead and make the video and show you that it's been done finally. Uh, I think I showed this on an Instagram posting a long time ago. People were kind of wondering what happened to it. But I, I think uh, uh, going forward, we're going to be doing more 3 inch toothpick builds instead of these uh, 65, mm, 65 millimeter builds. So we'll see some more of those coming up. So stay tuned for those. And here is the flight footage. All right, another brief interruption to this video. I have another giveaway announcement. Um, Archer FPV uh, decided to not claim this prize. This is the Tiny 7. Whoop, I, I was giving this away in a previous video and he said that he already has one so he said go ahead and give it to someone else so I am going to give this to so I'm going to give this to jgreg95 he left me this uh, comment on one of my previous videos so jgreg95 uh, there'll be some instructions down in the description so you can contact me and if you want to get this prize let me know and now back to the video So this guy was really difficult to tune on 4-0. On, on 4 one here, it already looks a lot better than it was before. Let's see how the uh, rolls are a little bit... Yeah, some bounce back there. but. Before, unfortunately, I think I lost that video file. I was getting massive oscillations. It was so shaky, I couldn't even fly it. The bounce backs aren't too bad. You can fly around them. But
Finally got this guy in the air. It's been months. Yeah, so if you had trouble tuning on 4.0, I recommend going to 4.1. Been switching all my stuff over to 4.1 and having much more success. Yeah, this is way better than it was before. Totally flyable. That's a kind of a strange sound. I mean, it is. It does sound like those props, but there's something else, some kind of other harmonic going on there. I'm not sure what that is. But I don't see it in the video. Yeah, I'm just getting a little bit of bounce backs. Let's see. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the roll axis. Let's see here. Can't tell if it's happening on the pitch axis. Now let's see. Yeah, game bounce backs on the pitch and roll axis. So it probably just means I need to increase D. T min's probably too low. This is actually the first one on Betaflight 4.1 where it didn't fly perfect or almost perfect out of the out of the box on the default tune, so I guess you can't not get away with tuning at all. Oh, I'm running low on battery. But yeah, overall, not bad for the 65 millimeter toothpick. But nowadays everyone's gone, gone three inch, so not sure if uh, this is all that popular anymore. Yeah, pretty long flight time though. Already four minutes. Anyway, talk to you guys in the next one.